Brian Logan wore number seven on his jersey when he played at BYU. He joins us in Studio B now. Brian. What's up, Brian? Welcome back. Sevens. Hi, guys. You got a big day today. After further review coming up later tonight, breaking but, down yeah. the Missouri game. Missouri, yeah. Yeah. My, your, your my wife, wife's from Missouri. She's, she's from Missouri, and um, still to this day, my mother-in-law always says Missouri. Missouri. It's, it's not Missouri. It's Missouri. Are you going to use that tonight? Yeah, probably. I probably saw. <laughs> I still, I still remember when, when, when BYU played uh, Missouri a couple years ago, right? Oh. And um, I was visiting for for my birthday, and my father in law brought out a birthday cake, and it was a Missouri birthday cake. Boo! Yeah. Like Tiger logo. Oh, everything. Now? It was like it was like fully loaded. Come like, on, man. Every I think there was even like a little action figure that was like the the mascot or something, and I I was like. Dude, I was so like fired up. I was talking so much smack, and then we lost. So, <laughs> yeah. well, that was a weird week. It really yeah. was. Mm-hmm. Um, our Twitter question today, Brent: What have you learned about BYU football at this point in fall camp? What do you think? I think that the biggest thing that that sticks out to me is just their confidence, and I would say I would say the energy too. Um, you just you just feel it in your in your spirit and and like the the buzz and the vibe. And it, and it always it almost reminds me of of Oklahoma. Um, I didn't really know what to to expect my first year playing D one football, and um, that that presence just around the area, um, fans, just the team, you know, just just this this swag about you, and um, the, the confidence, man, and, and it, it's exciting. It's exciting to see it, and and I say that because. You know, we ended up losing a couple games, and, and after after all the hype and, and we lost to Florida State, playing myself, um, you know, that, that, that feeling went away. And even the next year it went away. Um, and so I, I feel like something is, like, brewing, right? Something special is coming. Why do you, why do you think that? Why do you feel that way? It's, it, it, you know, it's, it's hard to explain as, as far as, like, the feeling, but when, when you look at the guys and you look how they're carrying themselves – that's the that's the biggest thing. Just the the, the nonverbals, their their aura. They're having fun, flying around. Um, you know, guys don't really seem to be timid. You know, they have a year under their belt. So I I think that's just the biggest thing is just in their in their overall body language. How good is this defense? I mean, really, Brian? Because everyone's like, oh, on paper they look amazing. They have the the best trio of linebackers in the country. Blue goggles. It's awesome. How good is this BYU defense for real? I think they are. I think they are for real. For real, remove the R. For real, <laughs> and I mean, when you look at the linebackers, right, and and, and then this defense, um, in, in a four-three defense, you want to have good linebackers, but you also want to have a good secondary, and you want to have good corners. And I think that if you leave, um, yeah, the, well, first of all, you have about four guys that can play, right? Um, which, 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 which is which is which is which is so for uh, right corner, left corner, at cornerback. I honestly think that they're athletic enough that, I mean, you could play – they can play safety, they can play corner. Um, I mean, they, we heard talks right before uh, Troy came in that hey, this kid could be a, a safety. Um, and so I think that just shows how athletic they are. You guys – you could have guys like Micah that, I mean, you put a put a, a basketball in his hands and, I mean, he can still go and ball out. So um, true athletes, right, is what you need. And, and when you look at the guys, you know, I, I'm confident – Thinking, okay, this guy is one on one with the receiver. It doesn't really matter how big, tall, fast, any accolades. I, I feel confident that they can cover him. And so, if you got if you got guys that can lock down receivers, and you have linebackers that can stop the run, I mean, that's that's all you need, right? I mean, this is this isn't like rocket science, man. It's 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 simple. I like what I'm seeing from the defensive line. I still want to whittle it down to who and see what they can do. That's my only real question there. But on the offensive side of the ball, we're seeing the development of the running backs and the wide receivers. What do you think of those two groups? That There's some questions about personnel going into the season. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we talked about this in the summertime, right? And I think everybody's biggest concern was the receivers, you know, um, compared to what they did last year. And to me, that doesn't, that doesn't matter at all. And, you know, we talked about this when Why I – Why does it not matter? Beca- because, man, so me and – I think it was you and I, right, Spencer, when um, the first four games of my senior year, the, like the DBs, we were, what, top uh, like 10, right? Top 10 in like the nation. So we were like, 
we're balling, get nobody throwing us. But everybody was running, running on us, right? So I, it didn't matter that we were top 10 in the nation in the first four games because nobody was, nobody was passing the ball. So, I mean, you, you flip it around the offensive side, and I don't care about the receivers if the running game can work. Mm -hmm. And then you add into the, onto the fact that uh, this guy right here, right, I mean, his whole offense is surrounded around the run, run first. So I care more about the running backs. And wh why I'm not as concerned is because there's a number of guys that can get it done. Um, they may not be like ballers or household names or whatever the case may be, um, but if there is a group collectively, then, then you, you're always going to be okay. If there was like one guy that was like, oh, yeah, we think he's going to be the guy, and there are other, other, a couple guys that's like, ooh, they're really kind of unproven, we don't really know, then I'd be a little nervous. You said something special is brewing. It feels like that anyway. Define special in terms of number of games that BYU needs to win to make it a special season. 11. 11. I, I agree okay. I think I think I think 10 I mean 10 10 is like the standard, right? And and I, okay. I take that from from uh you know my my pops Bronco Mendenhall. 10 is the standard. But special man, it's like special special would be 11. Right.